Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla here to talk to you today about Stockton Chain Tools. You should be looking into Stockton Chain Tools if you want to work on your motorcycle's chain. These tools are going to be good for chain-driven motorcycles. So let's talk about what Stockton is. Stockton is a purveyor of fine tools. These things are value-oriented tools, but they're basic necessities that just about every rider actually needs. Now, if you're new to any type of either chain maintenance or chain replacement, you should probably know that with the correct tools, most chain jobs are very, very easy. However, without them, they're nearly impossible. So it makes sense to have a good smattering of chain tools in your box. Now, Stockton makes a couple different items here. We're gonna run through some of the more popular ones to educate you on what exists and what you might wanna think about putting your fingers on. We're gonna kick things off with Stockton's Chain Breaker. This is a very basic chain breaking tool. So if you use rivet type master links on your bike, you're gonna need some way to get those off. Now, while you can use the grinder and the whole punch and a hammer method, it works, but it's kind of dangerous and it doesn't really work all that well and you can't reuse your chain if you have to pop your master link off. So something like a chain breaker really is a very inexpensive addition to your chain and it's gonna last you probably the life of your motorcycling career. Um, it's, it's a very small size. These pack easily into most tool rolls. So if you're the type two, who again, who likes to carry tools with you, um, you can pop one of these into your tool roll and it'll travel with you without adding an appreciable amount of bulk or weight to your tool roll. Moving on down the line, we have a set here of master link pliers. So these are actually kind of interesting. We've got one of these out of the package. You guys can actually take a peek at these. The idea behind these things is so simple. It's it kind of it, it kind of strikes you as why somebody didn't do these a little bit earlier, but they work out really, really well. If you'll notice, looking at the tips here, you can see that these are offset. One of the tips on the pliers is a little bit longer than the other. Those of you who have ever fought with a either a pair of needle nose pliers or perhaps a flathead screwdriver trying to wrestle a master link clip onto a clip style master link, know that can be an absolute bear. These particular pliers make it so easy to do. Um, they are a complete one trick pony of a tool, but they do that one trick so very well, it's well worth having a set in your box. Comes front and center here. You can see we have a chain scrubbing brush on here, the Grime Minister. I like that. Um, this particular brush is very similar to one of the name brands you may have seen out there. Does a fantastic job. You can see this thing cleans three sides of your chain very easily. You also have a brush for getting in there. It's a little longer for nooks and crannies. Um, these things work fantastically well. If you don't have one, uh, you should because they make cleaning your chain a snap. Um, it's something that we all get stuck doing and by having the right tools, you're more apt to maintain your chain correctly and thus get a little bit longer life out of both your chain as well as your sprockets. We also have next to that here a chain alignment tool. If you've never used one of these, I'd encourage you to go check out our uh, chain tensioning video. We actually show one of these things in use, not this brand, but the same style tool. And what this does is allows you to sight down the chain a little bit more easily to make sure you have an arrow straight chain line. It's not always easy to do that without something to guide you. This makes the process very simple. It takes about three seconds to throw one onto your rear sprocket and kind of eyeball it down the chain line. They work really nicely. Again, it's an easy one to throw in the box since it's not particularly expensive. Expensive. Down the other end, too, we have um, with a Stockton chain breaker as well as rivet tool. So this is sort of a heavier duty version of what we got over here, but it also does a few more things. In addition to breaking chains, this will also rivet them. So again, if you do have a rivet style master link, um, you are going to need some way to rivet your new link into place. This tool will allow you to do so. The chain breaker, not so much. The other thing that's interesting about this particular tool as well is that it's not just for use on motorcycle drive chains. It's not just limited to your 520 and 530 chains. This will handle a wide variety of chains. It'll even handle most cam chains for a lot of you out there who are looking to possibly break a cam chain if you're doing any type of engine work. This tool has absolutely got you covered there. So um, a kind of a nice one to have in the box. The price is not prohibitive at all. And again, it really covers the whole gamut of removing and installing a rivet style chain. I've got a few of these tools. I've used some of them. I like how these things work out. Don't take my word for it, though. Read some of those rider reviews from folks who are rocking Stockton chain tools in their toolboxes. See what they think about them. If you have a question that I didn't cover here in the video or is not covered in our product pages, feel free to get in touch with one of our very friendly gear geeks, cs at revzilla.com. Or, of course, you can always pick up the phone, give us a jingle, 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy. I'm out of here.